Hey folks, and welcome to my 2 to the 6th, that's 64th, narrated Wi-Fi battle. Um, this is a special battle, it's a friend battle against Jade Hex, who is a fairly newcomer to um, YouTube, I guess, but whose battles are amazing. Um, he does excellent, excellent narrations, and you should really check out his channel. Anyway, the um, we're doing uh, UU singles, and I'm using my James Pass, as I always do. Um, and he's using a team that I think he kind of specially developed uh, to combat me. So anyway, I lead off with Uxie, as I always do with this team, and I go ahead and set up the Stealth Rock, figuring there's really nothing that Scyther can do to me that's going to kill me. Um, yeah, I figured it was probably going to U-turn or something like that, um, and as you see, Uxie, because it's bulky as anything, survives the hit, and um, I'm going to be able to set up my rocks, so that's quite nice. Um, but I see that my opponent switched out Don Pan, so I'm like, ah, oh, shoot, you know, he's just gonna rapid spin him away. Um, so I do get the rocks up, um, but uh, I'm thinking they're not gonna stay up. Uh, so anyway, I do a switch out rather than a U turn, thinking that it might possibly be faster. Um, and I go into my spin blocker to block the um, the rapid spin. Um, but he actually doesn't go for the rapid spin; he goes for the self rock. And when I uh, during the battle, I was like, oh man, why didn't I predict that? I could have probably done so much damage if I just attacked. Um, but it turns out that, you know, he actually was considering doing rapid spin, but knew that I had the spin blocker. So it wasn't really stupid of me to think that he was going to go for the rapid spin. Um, it's just he outpredicted my overprediction. So um, anyway, I go ahead and set up a substitute just to scout out his move set. I really wasn't expecting that um, he was going to have the head smash. That's really rare, um, and especially since you know I think it's a a rock type move and it's not stab um, for Don Fan. But it does you know it does enough to break my sub. But I don't know how much damage it's going to do. Again, I figure it's not you know it's not stab, so there's a good chance I can survive. And I'm hoping that uh, Shadow Ball will be able to either one hit KO or two hit KO. So, um, as you can see, it doesn't one-hit KO, and that's that's a shame. And here comes the head smash, and I'm just hoping I can survive. Um, you know, but uh, Tachikoma goes down, because um, I guess he's EV trained a lot in attack. Um, so I go down, and that's uh, kind of a shame, because uh, looking back on this match, uh, Tachikoma, my Rotom, is a great counter to a lot of his Pokémon. So anyway, I go ahead and send out Maryland, um, my Blastoise, um, because I want to get those rocks out of the way, um, because I know he's got a Venusaur, and I'm going to want um, Arcanine to come in as often as possible um, to be able to counter it. So, yeah, speak of the devil, here comes Venusaur now. Um, and so, uh, he's lucky that I didn't go for the Ice Beam, because that would have been the smart move to go with if I had decided to attack. But I do go for the Rapid Spin, so which is lucky for him, because Venusaur is going to outspeed me quite easily. Um, so I've blown away the Stealth Rocks, and now I'm going to um, have to switch out. Um, but uh, hey, now there's no more rocks, so I can switch into Blake, who, uh, which is my Arcanine. Um, so uh, off goes the switch, and um, I'm figuring he can't really do too much to me, except for, of course, Sleep Powder. I'm like, oh, shoot. But then I think, eh, it's really not that big of a deal. I, after all, have a Cleric on my team. Uh, uh, Yuxi knows um, Heal Bell, so I can just you know take care of that. So I send in Yuxi. Um, and uh, he goes ahead and switches out on the same turn, uh, predicting my switch, um, and sends in Donphan again, and so I'm like, well, shoot, he can prob he's probably going to KO me if I attack, and his HP is so low, I think I can take him out. So I decide not to go for the, uh, as so I decide not to go for the heal bell here, and instead I go for the attack with the psychic, and um, that is going to take him out. And so now I've gotten rid of his spinner, and I'm really happy because the self rocks are up, and they're gonna, you know, they'll hopefully help me out um, a little bit. Um, anyway, he goes ahead and switches in Scyther, and it's gonna do a massive amount. The, just the rocks are gonna do a massive amount to Scyther. Um, I don't remember whether he had an odd or even HP. Um, you know, he really, sh uh, Jade Hex, if you're watching, and uh, Scyther does have an odd HP, you should, um, or even HP, you should go for the odd HP just so it can survive two switch ins with Stealth Rock. Anyway, I decided I was going to switch out here, which is so stupid, because he went for the Pursuit. Uh, okay, it didn't actually matter, because um, even if I'd attacked, I would have died anyway, because um, he's faster. But so, uh, anyway, I was going to go sw ahead and switch out to Hadarak anyway, so it is what it is. But now my Cleric is dead, and Arcanine's going to stay asleep. 
So um, I'm not sure whether he's going to switch out or not, but I figure that no one's going to like a Stone Edge to the face. Um, Scyther is, um, as I found out later, is uh, banded and so is locked into the pursuit. Um, and he gets a crit there, which I'm like, oh, whatever, you know, did nothing, did no damage. Um, and so I take him out with a Stone Edge. I'm really glad that Stone Edge didn't miss. That would have been some awful hacks. But, you know, again, you know, Pursuit's not really doing much. It's not like it would have done you know, a considerable amount of damage. He goes ahead and sends in Houndoom. And so I'm, of course, predicting a Fire-type move. And so I've got to get, get the hell out. Um, so I pull back Hadarak and go ahead and switch in Blake, my Arcanine, um, hoping to activate Flash Fire. Um, but if you listen to uh, his, if you watch his version of the match and listen to his commentary, he predicted that switch. He knew that my Arcanine was Flash Fire, so he decided, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use Hidden Power. I'm like, wow, that hit a whole lot. Um, and so I was trying to figure out what that Hidden Power was. I, I figured, you know, maybe it's water. I don't know. But um, if I, I guess I, he said in his commentary it was Hidden Power Ground. I was like, of course, Hidden Power Ground. In which case, you know, the switch wasn't a bad idea because it would have been a super effective hit onto uh, Tadarak. But it actually turned out it was, um, I think he misbred it or mis um, saved it. And so it's actually Hidden Power Rock, um, which would have been resisted by Hadarak. So really, I would have been better off leaving it in. Um, I deliberate about what my move should be here, wondering if he's going to switch out. But Houndoom's down to pretty low HP, so he can't really afford to do too much switching, um, thanks to the Stealth Rock. So um, he gets in a Sucker Punch um, just to try to get my HP low. But um, Maryland is pretty bulky, both on the physical and on the defensive side, based on how I've EV trained it. Um, and I do, do go ahead and use Water Spout, which is going to go ahead and take it out, um, even though Blastoise is down to pretty low HP. Um, so we're pretty much even in this match, you know, it, we're neck and neck, uh, no one's really uh, moved ahead, and I'm, I've out predicted a lot of his stuff, and he's out predicted a lot of mine, so it's going pretty well at this point. Uh, Venusaur comes out, and, um, you know, I know obviously I can't... Um, I can't do anything to Venusaur with Maryland, um, so I gotta switch out, um, and uh, I switch in Hadarak, um, it's nice that there are no rocks up, uh, and he uses Sludge Bomb, not predicting that I was going to switch into Hadarak, he actually forgot that I had Steelix on this team, according to his commentary. Anyway, so I go ahead and use um, Earthquake, I think. No, I actually go for the Stone Edge, predicting a switch, uh, and knowing that I can, I'm pretty sure that I can survive a Leaf Storm. But as you're about to see, it takes out Hadarak. I'm like, oh man, what the heck? I ran the calcs later, and it turns out that um, even with your standard um, build for Venusaur, uh, you had Hadarak been at full health, would not have one-hit KO'd, and um, if he hadn't gotten the crit uh, with that pursuit, I might have survived, or I would have had a better chance of surviving. Even with the crit, I had an okay chance of surviving. But that's like, oh man, I can't believe that crit actually mattered with that pursuit, but whatever. So anyway, um, he predicts my Ice Beam um, with Kyoko and goes ahead and switches in Heracross. Um, and so it's not resisted or anything, and it, but Heracross does survive the hit, and Heracross is going to be faster. I consider switching out, but frankly, I've got no one to switch out to. I mean, Maryland's not going to be able to take, uh, you know, take a hit, and um, Arcanine's asleep, so I'm like, well, I've got nothing to do. Gotta just hope that he's he does something stupid, um, but no, he goes for the close combat, and there's no way in hell that uh, you know Kyoko being weak to it that it's going to survive, so it's taken out, um, which is a huge shame. Uh, and you know those defense drops aren't going to help me at all because the only Pokemon that I had that could be faster is a Sleep. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of screwed at this point. I figure so I go ahead and switch in Marilyn. Um, my Blastoise, and, you know, obviously I'm not going to Water Spout at this point, even with the defense drops, you know, he's, his, I'm just hoping that I can survive here, but if I survive, it's going to be with really low HP. So here comes the close combat, I think he's either banded or scarfed, I can't remember, but he gets, um, the defense drops again, and I survive with just a teeny tiny bit of HP, um, so I am able to KO it with Ice Beam, but he's got two Pokemon left after this, and Maryland's down to no HP. Um, and Arcanine's asleep, so I've, there's nothing I can do. Um, he sends out his shiny Rotom now, and I'm like, well, unless he does something really stupid, this battle's over. Um, so I decide I'm going to go ahead and try to rest, just in case he's going to be greedy and go for the sub. Um, but, you know, if he, if he goes ahead and attacks, this battle is over, and there's nothing I can do. Um, 
And indeed, Rotom does go ahead and attack with Thunderbolt. Um, Jade Hex, uh, you know, great game. You did an excellent job. Uh, you played that well. Um, and so now I'm down to my last Pokemon, a Sleeping Arcanine. I really should have just foddered it once it fell asleep, or, you know, foddered it at any other point. But it is what it is, and I have lost the match. Um, Jade Hex, again, very, very, very good game. If you ever want to battle again, let me know. Uh, I look forward to it. Um, anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Uh, and yeah, I've got some more friend battles coming up this week. So yeah.